Denton woman faces multiple animal cruelty charges after over 50 animals seized. Around 50 animals were seized in a Shiburo on Monday, according to the Randolph County Sheriff's Office. On June 14, deputies went to a home on Sandalwood Drive in Denton to serve a criminal summons for livestock running loose on 68-year-old Melina K. Robinson, but couldn't find her. While there, the deputy saw signs of animal neglect, so a referral was made to Randolph County Animal Services. Animal Services employees tried to speak with the homeowner the same day, but they couldn't find her. Animal Services then requested that the sheriff's office help them at a later date. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. On June 17, deputies responded with animal services officials to check on the welfare of the dogs. Deputies and animal services officers spoke with Robinson who gave consent for a welfare check of the animals that she had on the property. After a consent search was performed, deputies say it was evident that serious neglect had gone on for some time on numerous animals. A search warrant was obtained and executed by detectives, which resulted in numerous animals being seized from the home that were taken into custody by Randolph County Animal Services for urgent medical care and rehabilitation. Twelve of those seized animals were taken directly to veterinarian clinics since they were the most critical. All of these animals are receiving treatment. Forty-four dogs, seven cats, one rabbit, one bird, one guinea pig and one turtle were seized. In total, 55 animals were seized from the home and property due to poor living conditions, malnourishment, lack of basic dietary needs and obvious untreated wounds on some animals. Robinson was arrested and charged with 10 counts of felony cruelty to animals. She was given a $25,000 secured bond. This lady who lived at the home was the sole caretaker of 100 animals, and that's overwhelming to the point that it was basically denial, said Randolph County Sheriff Greg Siebold. Officials plan to return and check out the rest of the animals. We'll go back out and look at the other animals to see if they need medical attention or give the owner guidance on how to take care of the animal, Seabolt said. We're going to look at it like any other law. We're going to try to charge that person and gather evidence to convict her in court. It's a responsibility a lot of people don't observe when you get an animal. Ten animals have foster homes now. It will take about three weeks for all of them to be seen by veterinarians.